Ladies and gentlemen, distinguished colleagues, students, I'm truly humbled, enormously honored, and extremely grateful to KU Louvain for this honorary degree of doctorate. Any recognition by peers is very gratifying. But when it comes from a leading university like yours, and when it comes from a visionary leader, those words, my champion and long-term collaborator, Peter Carmelite, they mean a lot more. I'm grateful to that. Every scientist, or even engineers like myself, their dream is that someday their discoveries will get translated, will move from bench to bedside. And I've had tremendous fortune of that happening several times in my life. And I'm grateful to a lot of people for that. Because just imagine a person who's a totally outside the field of engineering and be embraced by cancer. It's an incredible, incredible honor and satisfying. And all this is possible primarily because I've had the great fortune of having wonderful colleagues, collaborators, students, my entire career. They include Peter Kamelit, who is a visionary leader in the area of vascular biology. And you are very fortunate, uh, Honorable Director, to have him as one of your faculty members, a director of one of your institutes, who has also inspired many people all over the world in this area and has been a pioneer himself. I'm also grateful to more than 200 students I have had the opportunity to work with, work with in my career who have come from more than different, a dozen different disciplines, from physics, mathematics, engineering, genetics, immunology, physiology, to almost every, every component of medicine and oncology, from radiation oncology, medical oncology, surgical oncology, pathology, radiology, you name it. And that is really what has made it to possible to be able to move this field forward, to be look at blood vessels in a tumor from and not only in animal, but also in cancer patients. And for that, I'm grateful to many of these clinical colleagues who have led 25 clinical trials in the last decade that have really transformed the thinking in the field. And they include uh, Professor Chris Willett, who was a colleague at National Hospital, and a GI radiation oncologist who, uh, who led the very first study in collaboration with us, which essentially showed us how one of the drugs, which is widely used for cancer treatment, known as bevacizumab, or Avestin, works in patients. I've been very fortunate to have a very leading, a leading neuro-oncologist at Harvard, Dr. Tracy Batchelor, who has allowed us to see actually how cancer patients benefit, uh, the brain tumor patients benefit when you give these drugs. Who are the patients who survive longer versus the patients who do not survive longer? And that insight hopefully would allow us to improve the therapy further. I've been very fortunate to have chairmen of various departments who took, who took risk to bring a person from outside from India, uh, Professor Art Metzner, who received an honorary degree from KU Louvain in 1975, actually was responsible for bringing me from India to University of Delaware. I'm also very fortunate to have the former president, the late Richard M. Syed, who received an honorary degree from here in 1973, who really recruited me to Carnegie Mellon University from Columbia University in New York. And then I'm very grateful to Professor uh, Herman Sood, who took the risk of bringing a chemical engineering professor at Carnegie Mellon to make a professor of tumor biology at Harvard Medical School at a time when it looked like the only thing that was going to cure cancer was genetics and nothing else. And then continue to the current uh, chairman, who's a neuroradiation oncologist, uh, uh, who has gone on and to continue to support Dr. Jay Leffler. And I have been very fortunate to have un unbelievable colleagues 
who have been with me for nearly 20 years now. Eight of them, and they include Dr. E. Boshe, a pathologist, uh, Dr. Dai Fukumura, who's a GI oncologist who is a, from Japan, to uh, Dr. Lanceman, who's uh, an associate professor and who's an engineer, similar to me, who's working with me, and Igor Garkratsov, who was, who's a geneticist, and Dr. Leishu, who's a molecular biologist, Dr. Pagan Huang, who's a professor in China, who joined our laboratory. And this interdisciplinary group, and Dr. Tim Padera, these people have joined together, have stayed with me, and, and continue to believe in this idea that it's only bringing multiple disciplines would, be, would it make possible to, to attack this very complex disease called cancer. And finally, none of this would have been possible without support of my loving family, my wife, and two children. But most importantly, thousands of patients who have gone through these clinical trials. And what is remarkable is that some of them have come at the very last stages of their life when they know that this particular treatment would not benefit, but they allowed very sophisticated imaging with the only reason that that would benefit the next set of patients. So really, I would like to dedicate this honor, this honor to these patients and to my colleagues who over the years have been my co-traveler in this field, in this journey inside the world of cancer. And finally, Dr. Peter Comley for continued collaboration and hopefully much, many more discoveries in the future. Again, thank you very much for this incredible honor. Thank you.